Hello, and welcome to Lock Picking Legends. Hello, you absolute legends. Yes, the danger filled Makina electric lock pick gun is here. It is amazing. Look at it. Just adjust that. I mean, it is as good inside as it is outside. It's the Bugatti of EPGs. Higher specifications, more power, top spec components, even the charger, the, the, the detail they've gone to, you know, you've got a real-time percentage battery charge there. You're not going to get caught on a job. Oh, no problem. Brrr, no. Now, I've got 27 locks here that were donated to me by a locksmith, which means they've all been in use, which is why I thought I'd demonstrate them. Now, I'm not going to make you suffer me opening 27 locks. I'll show you a couple of just... You'd expect that from an EPG, wouldn't you? You'd expect that. Grab another one. Uh, it's branded, but it's probably an OEM. Get that in there, but... But the problem I've had over the years of EPGs is how much they struggle with spool pins. How much they struggle with security pins in general. Now, no EPG is going to pick every lock. But what has blown me away are, check out this Yale. Six pin, branded Yale. I know it's got a few spool pins in it. I had to just tighten up the swing arm a bit there. And I've already picked this. And I'm thinking, why isn't this opening? Right, and then I remembered I used a smaller tension tool. Look at the details. Now the needle's got a little bit more room. Bosh! Lovely. And there you go. That's more like it. Now, this, it was just that little bit of changing on the swing arm and the tension tool. I love this tool. Dangerfield Makina. A new EPG. And I've tried them all, people. I've been in this game a while. Here are, let's have a look at this. This is a Yale branded padlock. There's a couple of security pins. There's no point me proving that to you because I could lie anyway. But that's what you want from an EPG. That's what you want from a new machine. Here's a CESA. It's got security pins in it. There's no point making a new EPG unless you're... Unless you're improving what's there. And, you know, it's standing on the shoulder of giants. This is a essentially useless eclipse lock. But I like doing this. <laughs> to show people who use these they might want to up their security this is actually an ASEC which didn't stand up to much cheers Mr ASEC Eurospec very popular rim cylinder in the UK like I say we're not going to sit for all of these Abbas padlock, security pins, very tight keyway. No problem. And there you go, really. I mean, we could keep going. Here's a quick set. One of the most popular of all American locks. Very easily to recognise all keyway. And that stood up to nothing. Thank you, America. Well, there you go. Look, I picked 27 lots there. And I couldn't be happier. This pick will be in UK Bump Keys this week and Lock Pick World next week. And it's fantastic. It's the Bugatti. The Lamborghini. It's the very nice fast car of the EPG range. <laughs> I want to say a massive hello to all our new subscribers. 14,000 now. If you haven't watched the shorts, check them out. Leave comments on the shorts. That would be, well, legendary, of course. No. 
Well, there you go, people. The Dangerfield Makina, a new EPG on the block. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts on electric lock picking. Let me know whatever you want. Go and check out the shorts if you haven't. Could really do with some comments on them. That'll help the channel. And speaking of helping the channel, you can now become a member. Might not sound that appealing, but we're going to be doing the Legends Live Lounge. Oh yeah, couple of hours a month. All get in there, have a chat, have a giggle. More about that later this week. Look after yourselves, people. Ta-ta.